want to thank everybody for attending today. My name is Joe Cuellar, and I'll be your moderator during this session. Our topic we'll be discussing today is solving top NBR and DVR implementation challenges and how DNF security addresses those challenges. We'll be talking about some of the challenges and concerns of implementing IP surveillance solutions and how DNF security handles those. Just a few notes before we begin. Um, we will have a Q&A session at the end of the presentation. So if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and save them for the end, or feel free to type them in the chat box on the top there, and uh, we will make sure we open it for questions. As a courtesy reminder, since we're on a live conference call, you may want to mute your phone, or you can press phone on your keypad, pound, excuse me, you can press pound four on your keypad to have you muted automatically. Our presenters today will be hearing from Robert Made. He's our product manager for DNF Security. Hello, and everyone. And Jamie Irvin, our marketing manager for DNF Corporation. Hello. So, hi, Robert. How are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. How's everybody? Good, good. So, tell me, what are some of the things that someone needs to consider when researching IP surveillance solutions? Well, obviously. Number one is the camera. Uh, some of out there, some of, them, some of them might offer uh, some extra features. The big concern now becomes whether do I do I go CCTV analog camera or do I go with the digital? Now some of those uh, CCTV cameras might be a cheaper alternative, but then there are other things that you might not be uh, prepared to handle, like wiring, for example. I mean there's. Just thousands of different little things to consider. Some might offer a better price, like uh, some might be infrared, outdoor, indoor, PPT, other functionality. Now, the beauty about the IP cameras is that they offer all the added video analytics and other intelligence. But uh, that's uh, just number one concern. This is uh, number one the choice in picking up the proper solution. So, DNF. Test cameras? They, they actually test the cameras out there? Yes, and this is the favorite part of what we do. Uh, we get cameras uh, from all different manufacturers. We test them to see how they uh, perform, what the image quality, what the uh, compression ratio, how many of them you can uh, work with, uh, but what kind of installation problems you might encounter. Those kind of things. So it's not just about visuals, it's about how useful the camera is in the real life environment. All right, so we got cameras. What's something else someone needs to look at when looking at the surveillance solution? Um, I would say the proper engine. Um, the software becomes a very important thing because different kind of programs can integrate easily with your existing components. If you have ATM, for example, access control, um, uh, there are different levels of video analytics, there are different number of uh, cameras to be supported. Compatibility becomes a big issue. There might be some uh, exotic manufacturers, but uh, what's used for the best camera if you don't have a system that can smoothly record it. So uh, all those different things do we make sure that they work nicely. The, there might be biggest concern for the surveillance is that you have to be secure from a possible failure have to eliminate every single point of failure in the system, any computer that runs extensively for weeks at a time, it's just going to right. really, really expose any kind of weak points of designing the system. So software, um, uh, how, reliable, how reliable it is, what kind of uh, central management it offers, how many recording servers you can support from a central location. Um, what kind of archiving and failover options it gives you, it becomes a very important part of the design. Therefore, we assess different programs to make sure that we integrate them with the hardware and make one combined solution that works smooth. So DNF security test software too? Well, yes. Um, it becomes um, not just the issue of seeing how pretty it looks, but how uh, well it serves the job. Um, uh, some of uh, the programs are easier to work with, some are fairly intuitive. Um, uh, there are different licensing options and, of course, the support 
support of the number of support supported devices becomes a big big part of it. What's one of the software manufacturers you tested? Well, we've been working with the Axis, we've been work, working with the Actai. Now recently we we started testing some uh, high resolution uh, cameras. Um, what was the name of it? Yeah, Ar Aricon, that, was, that became another one. Um, uh, and so, what, so what kind of software have you tested? Um, yeah, I had the pleasure of working with uh, Milestone, with the Honest Society, um, and there are others on the horizon. So now that we know that we have the right camera and the right software, what's another component on the solution that we need to worry about?